Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren Simonetti. I should say, um, hola, me llamo Lorena Simonetti, because we're talking about being multilingual and speaking different languages as a way to get ahead uh, in the job world. Maybe you want a manager position. We're finding out that more companies are looking at only multilingual candidates. Also, there's big demand for translators out there. Let's discuss all of this with our first guest, Ryan McMunn, the founder of Brick Language System. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. You speak two languages, English, I hope, and yep. Uh, Mandarin. Yep, yep, exactly. How has that helped you? Uh, it's career? helped me tremendously in my career. I actually moved to Shanghai, China about eight years ago. Uh, I started out, I couldn't speak any Mandarin. Um, my career advanced tremendously with learning Mandarin over the course mm -hmm. of my three, my first three years there, I wound up going from a QC manager to social environmental responsibilities and up to general manager and finally VP of Asian operations for Dry Camp. Very nice. So how important is it in 2013 to speak a language other than English? At Brick, we believe that this is a tremendously important asset for job seekers to have. You probably saw the jobs report come out last week where 200,000 jobs added. Yep, exactly, and 7% unemployment. So all of this is very encouraging news. And a lot of this is being driven by multinational corporations who are filling their staffs with more multilingual people to help in the growth that they're experiencing overseas. Arguably, you could say these multinationals could just hire a European who speaks like six languages who speaks English as their second language, but might be more beneficial than speaking an American who could barely speak a second language. The statistic I have here is that only 18% of Americans actually speak a language other than English. That is true. Only 18% speak a language other than English. Mm -hmm. And there is a huge demand and supply imbalance. Corporations are hiring and expanding overseas 15% faster than they are here at home. And they want that, to your point, they don't. They want an American that can go over there that knows their business culture, but also speaks the language and can understand the culture in the country that they're doing business in. And that's rare to find here in the U.S. It is rare, and that's one of the things that Brick Language Systems is trying to help narrow the gap mm -hmm. on the divide between supply and the demand shown by multinational corporations. We saw a study where 42% of American multinationals believe that learning Mandarin Chinese was very important. 70% said the same as Spanish. And less than half of American workers have any desire to learn a second language. <laughs> because everybody speaks English. It, Wherever you go in the world, I've been to 35 countries and I have spoken English just fine in all of them. Not that I'm an advocate for only speaking English, but it's a, with English being the language franca, uh, arguably that's changing, but um, we haven't had the necessity. I yeah, have others. We world. haven't. We haven't had the necessity to speak those languages, but as these multinational corporations continue faster, more rapid growth overseas, that's where the biggest job opportunities yeah. are for Americans. Let's talk about those job opportunities. Uh, companies that say they accept only multilingual candidates for management positions, that went from 10% in 2010 to 14% last year, probably went up this year when we get the latest data. And then at the same time, Companies are providing language training to employees, just about a quarter of all companies providing that language uh, training. So you're called BRIC Language Systems, B-R-I-C, I imagine, Brazil, Russia, India, China. So yep, can you talk exactly. to me a little bit about the name of your company? You do Portuguese, Russian? Yes, we actually are right now focused on Mandarin Chinese, yep. Brazilian Portuguese, yep. and Spanish. And all of our teachers for those languages, our Chinese teachers, are actually located in Shanghai, China. Our Spanish teachers are in Mexico City and Brazilian Portuguese in Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. I'm doubtful that only 18% of Americans speak another language just because you think of the regional United States, all the countries that are right near Mexico, um, all the immigrants we have here. It feels like so many people speak Spanish, for instance. Yes, there, are, there is a huge Spanish-speaking population, but that's... 18% of the population that actually speaks both languages or more than one language. Mm -hmm. So a lot of... Um, it is that small then. Yes, it is that small. Yeah. Um, what about education funding? Uh, you know, we're always talking about budget cuts. Schools get hit hard. I'd imagine one of the first things to go is the Spanish class, and it is the, the language class. Yes, that is true. In 2012, the U.S. government significantly cut funding for language programs, mm -hmm. and it, that is where we come in because we do see that need by multinational companies 
for education in language training. So mm -hmm. we are actually working with a few multinational companies to provide exactly what you just spoke to, that language training for their overseas Any employees. big companies that you can mention? I, I actually, I cannot mention the okay. company's names. We do have non-disclosure agreements. But they're the pretty familiar names? Yeah, they are. They're pretty familiar names. Um, and what about demand for translators? A lot of people say, you know, I took Italian in college. There's not much use for a linguistic major such as that, uh, but there is. There is. There's a huge and growing demand. There is a statistic put out by the U.S. Department of Labor just recently saying that they believe that this will be one of the fastest growing occupations in our country. By 2020, they're expecting 25,000 jobs to be created in that field. So we yeah. believe that this is a huge opportunity for people that want to learn a language. You know, I just look at Homeland, right? That popular yep. show, and they just jump into Farsi just like that, or French, or whatever the language is in the episode. And um, It's all around us. We're in a global world, and um, it's, it's a skill that's necessary. Yep, yes it is. Yeah, thank you so much. Great to meet you, Ryan Nickman, the founder of Brick Language Systems. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Your website's up on the screen. We're going to go to a break now. We'll be back on the other side. Can you say that in Mandarin? We'll be back on the other side. Or we'll be back. <laughs> great to see you. Yep, great to see you.